The concept of Anna Nakula started about two years ago or so and I'm uh, teaching cycling and my background's been in racing cycling so I've grown up sort of surrounded by bikes and I went to an all-girls school and I'm quite a girly girl and found that there was no clothes out there that I really liked that both performed and kind of allowed me to enjoy getting dressed like lots of girls do. I think a lot of women's clothing is often designed by men or male dominated brands whereas the way I work is with female cycle racers and a racing team and also female commuters and I'll give them test samples and they feed back to me and we'll just keep on working through until we get a garment that really works. My first production run has just arrived and it's a thousand gloves and they're spring summer gloves so they're short fingered and I've been working on them just because they're quite a fun accessory but they're also really important to cycling like um, you get calluses on your fingers and you can get tingly nerves on the bottom of your palm and also if you fall off your bike you can really rip up your palms and stuff but you know gloves are such a pretty and nice thing that you can really play around with. Finding manufacturers has been really tough for me. Having stuff made in the UK is it's not just that it's expensive, it's also the expertise. Like People in the UK, they're really good at tailoring, but they, there's not a big sports clothing industry here, so they can't access the fabrics, and we're always battling with each other. They're, they're saying, oh, you need it narrow in the shoulders for it to look nice, and I'm fighting with them saying, oh, well, that won't be comfortable on a bike. So I've had to look abroad. My gloves are made in Pakistan, and it seems that loads of gloves are made in Pakistan and they're so good at what they do and sometimes they're one step ahead of me I'll come up with a design and they're like yeah but have you thought of this the winter jacket that I'm designing for 2011 is a lot more performance based than the stuff that I've done in the past and I think that's mostly in, um, influenced by my experiences of racing and it's the things that I see and it's the people that I interact with um, I do think there's a big market for commuter jackets but It'll probably take a while to be able to compete with the Alturas and Endura and Gore and all stuff like that. Cycling is becoming a lot more popular. Everyone can see more cyclists on the streets and stuff. And even at races, people are taking it up as a hobby a lot more. Um, and the way I see cycling, and I've never understood almost why it's been kept in the dark and in the past for so long, but if you compare it to other sports that are kind of a bit more cool, like snowboarding and surfing and stuff like that, they've got such design-led and creative industries. You know, they've got videos, they've got music and bands, they've got art and photography. Cycling's only really starting to develop that now as it becomes more popular and as more young people do it and as it enters the cities. Like, you know, London's obviously increasing cyclists a lot and in London there's a lot of creative people and I think from that cycling can just change its image a lot more.